at the store on a Monday. Normally we're closed Sundays and Mondays, but I'm here today because I bought a collection of um, really cool uh, items from a person the other day. And yeah, I've got to sort of organize them and put them out. So I'll give you kind of an idea of what I picked up. So um, yeah, have a look. Okay, so the story uh, with this collection was that uh, the person is um, uh, a collector out in Manitoba. They contacted me through a relative who knew I had the store here. Um, and so I bought some of the things I knew uh, I was getting, I had pictures of, and they threw some other stuff in. So uh, some of it came packed up like this. So we're gonna actually uh, do some uncovering and see what they've packed up in here. This looks like it is the, uh, it's a BA uh, sign. And what it was for was actually going inside of a car tire and uh, it would sit in a, a dealership or a, a service station. And um, yeah, these would be used to advertise their tires. So that's kind of cool. The condition's not too bad. Um, so these little triangular pieces there fit inside of the tire and then it sits on display. So that yeah, kind of a neat piece. And somebody who collects uh, BA might uh, want to add that to their collection. They don't come around too, too often. So yeah, that's item number one. Okay, so cool. the first uh, big item that came in over the weekend was this uh, 1920s clear vision visible gas pump. Now you can see it doesn't have the glass in it right now uh, or the top. I do have the top piece with the globe. It's actually a white rose and narco pump, which is quite rare. Um, it's gonna need to be painted and cleaned up and all that good stuff. I'm debating whether I should finish it myself and have it all shiny in the store or sell it as a project to somebody. Um, the glass uh, I ordered uh, from a company in the States, so that should be coming in soon. Really not much to fixing these things up. I mean, it's not terribly dented. Uh, these outer skins get painted, a uh, little sandblasting, and it'll look amazing. So that came in. Um, and as did all this stuff. Um, so there's boxes, uh, stuff is wrapped up. I haven't even gone through it yet. So we're gonna go through it here today and see what we've got, uh, including this massive Skidoo dealership sign, probably 1970s, I'd say. It's uh, plastic, would have been somebody's uh, sign off their store, off their business, um, but it's huge. It's gotta be you know, nearly four feet tall and probably about five or six feet wide. So it'd be really cool if somebody had that in their garage or shop if they um, collect skidoos or uh, snowmobiles. So let's open some boxes and see what we got. Okay, so this is box number two. Uh, just open the top of it. I know there's some oil cans in this collection and it looks like they're all pretty well wrapped. So this is an old BA um, service station sign. Uh, it's an auto lean. It's quite, I'd say this one could be 30s. Um, it, I'd say definitely 30s. Um, they call that logo the BA bow tie because the uh, red in the logo there looks like a bow tie. So these are sometimes a little bit more desirable than your average BA cans because they're um, a little bit older. BA uh, later went to that logo right there. Uh, and that's the one that's probably a little bit more common. So uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see what else I've got too. Okay, so we're gonna get uh, unpacking and see what's in some of these other boxes. dug through some of the boxes and we ended up with a whole bunch of BA cans, uh, some Esso cans, some big grease cans. The North Star Oil one's uh, fairly rare, um, Canadian company, and you just don't see them too often. Um, also got some other big giant BA cans that look great in a garage or a shop. And yeah, just a bunch more stuff that really filled up. Um, I'll show you a picture of what I'm most proud of as well. Just give me a second. I'll so this was probably um, the piece that I wanted to get the most. It's, I'd say about six feet long, um, maybe three, three and a half feet tall. It's a BA porcelain um, dealer sign. 
It is single-sided, but it is porcelain and it's from 1936. And often the red on that bow tie is uh, worn right out. This one's really bright. Um, and I don't know if you saw my other picture of it. It was stored in a guy's basement. Before that it was in a shed. So it really didn't see sunlight for a really long time. So it's gonna clean up just great and uh, be a fantastic addition to somebody's garage um, or rec room or really anywhere that you think a big giant cool sign would go. So um, yeah, thanks for uh, checking out uh, this week's finds. It's starting to clean up around here a little bit. I got my showcase area back and actually since uh, I started recording, I had somebody drop in uh, while I was closed and buy a whole bunch of stuff. So the Skidoo sign sold. Um, a bunch of cans and stuff sold so um, yeah you just never know when somebody comes and knocks on your door uh, it's a lot less stuff for me to put out and uh, nice to turn it over quickly so uh, come and check us out we'll talk to you soon bye